Now let's look at the uh, next condition which is the column which is fixed at one end and the pin at another. So this is the end which is fixed and this is the end which is having a pin joint. So at the pin joint it, it has to be uh, you know it has to be uh, constrained for direction movement also. So you will have, have a horizontal uh, force applied also. So the moment at this section then will become minus p into y minus vx okay and this is equal to e y e i y double dash is equal to this so when you resolve that you get y double dash plus alpha square y is equal to minus vx upon p so solving this solving this will give you and this is not p this is e i over here so resolving this will give you the value of y as a into sin alpha x plus b into cos alpha x minus vx upon p. Now it all it, it is all but a, a game of applying the end conditions onto it. So the very first end condition is that at x is equal to 0 the value of y is 0. So when you put that condition into this you get 0 is equal to a into 0 plus b into 1 minus 0 which means b is 0 okay so I will have a is equal to a sin alpha x minus v x upon p right now the second boundary condition is to have at x is equal to l again y is equal to 0 so you can write down 0 is equal to a sin alpha l minus v l upon p okay so from here I will get a sin alpha l is equal to v l upon p now you just have one equation over here and how do you find out unknown from here that is a so we need one more equation for comparison sake so we will say that at x is equal to l the slope is 0, y dash is 0. So let us find out y dash. So y dash can be found out from this equation. You will have y dash is equal to a into alpha cos x minus v y p. So this is 0. So when you put x is equal to l, you get 0 is equal to a alpha cos alpha l minus v y p. So this will give you a alpha cos alpha l is equal to v upon p. So this is let us say equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now you can divide these two equations. So when you divide them you get 1 upon alpha into tan alpha l is equal to l. So tan alpha l is equal to alpha l. So for this kind of a condition that is tan of theta is equal to theta, the value of theta is approximately 4 and a half radians. Okay, so let us square it. So upon squaring, we get the value for p as 20.25 times e i upon l square. Now this is further written down as 2.05 times pi square e i upon l square. So this is the buckling load for a column which is fixed at one end and pinned at the other end. So make a note of this and remember this. Okay. Now after this video, let us have a look at some questions on the topic of columns.